Spangled Banner. And we've got plenty more coming up. Stay tuned. Greetings and best wishes for a happy holiday season from all of us at 2K Sports as we get set for this NBA presentation. Our game tonight featuring the Los Angeles Clippers as they go up against the Houston Rockets here in Toyota Center. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. DA will join us tonight on the sideline. Now we get a chance to check out the standings out west. Already we're in December. Taking a look at Houston. Third best record here in the early going. And of course, there's the Clippers four games back. You know, for Los Angeles, they talked all offseason about how this year was going to be different. Nobody bought into it then, and nobody's buying into it now. Yeah, and it's too bad, really unfortunate, because I did think the potential was there. But at this stage, I think we've seen their best, and it's not going to be good enough this season. And the Clippers starting five. They've got Paul George. Morris is out there with Kawhi Leonard. Then it's Ibaka, and it's Williams at the point guard position. And for the Rockets, Oladipo is out there with Wall. Then it's P.J. Tucker. Then it's Porter. And it's Wood in at the five. Here is Williams. And the pass to Ibaka. Looking for George. He gets it there. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by George. And for our viewers tonight, don't blink. Clark, you might miss something. Do not blink. Do not put your eyes on your popcorn or whatever snack you're having while you're watching this one. They get up and down in a hurry, both of these squads. Execution on the fast break will probably determine the outcome in this one. Fast break points, a big stat to keep an eye on. Now, here's only in the game against New Orleans, very impressive. And just an emotional return from injury for Oladipo last season. He, he missed over a year due to that knee, and just great to see the young man back on the floor. Boy, it sure is, Greg. I mean, it didn't take long for Oladipo to show he's still an outstanding player. I mean, he means so much to this team when he's healthy. Sure, His too. energy is infectious, and he's a big-time playmaker and shot maker. It's really hard to miss a full year, but I tell you what, Oladipo did not look rusty for long. The first free throw is good. Hey, from role player to bona fide star, the jump Oladipo has taken has been outstanding. And he's not done yet, folks. He's continuing to grow. And so he hits both. And so it's Williams who brings it up for the Clippers. Outplayed in the previous game on their schedule, losing to the Raptors. Total embarrassment. I, I was shocked at how poorly they played. I, I think they were shocked. Yeah, and you know, those losses really hurt when you can't get anything going your way, everything joined against you. Very frustrating. And just the overall aggressiveness. Wall enjoys taking on a challenge and succeeding, especially when the D is all over. Now, here is Ibaka. 17 points for him last game against Toronto. And there's the call on Kevin Porter. That is his first foul of the game. It's stolen by Wall. And it's the Rockets on the break. Here's Oladipo. No good. Shot missing. George with the defensive effort. To the middle. And that's some physical defense against Morris, who attacks with one of his many moves. And we'll just see what he does here at the line. Los Angeles shooting their first shots from the stripe in this game. Free throw good for Morris. And a guy who's bounced around the league a little. Surprising given that Morris is a solid shooter and a pretty good defender and rebounder.
and Morris drops them both. And here's Oladipo. Right now, checking his stats, he's averaging over 23 points a game. That misses off the backboard. Right side, Williams. Leonard, no luck. Yeah, and that was lining up to be a huge alley-oop, but they just couldn't quite connect. And you know, guys, always a tough catch on the lob. Placement and timing have to be close to perfect. Here's Wood. He provides a good amount of offense for the team, averaging around 11 and a half points a game. Five on the clock. And Oladipo kicks to Wood. Those three-pointers off the mark. They're one of four here to start looking to get into a flow offensively. Leonard finds George. Oh, and he pucks it off the glass. Wow. No one near Wall as he lets it go. Another miss by Houston. You know, right now they're just one for five. Rough start so far. Here's Morris, and he banks in the layup. Morris has got six. An efficient score inside. Morris can beat you with a variety of moves. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. Well, here's what Houston's head coach had to say earlier. And as we were talking about Kawhi Leonard, his defense was the first thing that came up. Coach told me that while Kawhi may not be the individual defensive powerhouse he once was, they're still not going to challenge him more than they need to. Negating Kawhi's presence at that end of the floor is much easier said than done. Kevin, back to you. Okay, David, much appreciated. Boy, I love how unselfish Oladipo is. Great at getting his teammates involved in on-time, on-target passes. Leonard dishes to George. Up top, Ibaka shoots it up. Victor Oladipo grabs the miss. Usually, guys, he's going to knock that one down. Oh, oh, that was my. a strong dunk. And how about John Wall? Just outstanding at sprinting down the floor and just jumping all over the defense. And there's the call on Kevin Porter. That'll be his second foul of the game. Daniel House has checked in for Kevin Porter. I'm glad we got to see the mobile one block once more. What a play. And early in the game, a defensive play like that goes a long way, establishing the attitude you want. First quarter of play and uh, just over three and a half minutes in. Well, we get a look here now at the small forwards with the fastest hands in the league and generating the most steals per game. Kawhi Leonard on top. And with the kind of defense he plays, it, it really gives his team someone to lean on at that end of the floor. Oh, he's got a big effect on their interior defense, too. I mean, so often we see him prevent penetration by coming up with a steal as the ball handler makes a move inside. He does a nice job impacting the ball in those situations. He's got an excellent pair of active hands. And their post play has been really solid right off the bat. Now Oladipo. You know, far hard from start to finish on that play. Defended the shot and then finished it off with the rebound. Williams against Oladipo. Williams passes to Leonard. Now here is Ibaka. Shot clock at six. The Clippers need to get off a shot. And so it's Wall. He brings it up for the Houston Rockets. Trailing by two. They defeated the Pelicans in their last game. That mental toughness on the road. The arena was rocking, but they just got down to business and never let up. Well, you know, it takes character, poise, toughness to win on the road, and that's exactly what they showed last game. And here's Leonard following the three-pointer by John Wall. Outside, George. Up top, Leonard. He is still scoreless so far in this one. And it's good with time running down in the shot clock. What strength from Leonard there. Not allowing the defense to get the best of it. Here is Wall. 
They trail by one. He goes right over Marcus Morris and slams it down. Just focusing on the task at hand, that's all you can do. Yeah, these teams trading punches right now. I mean, it's table tennis. Back and forth we go. Here's Williams. That's good, and it's Leonard with the assist. Williams has got his second bucket tonight. Boy, for a pint-sized guy, Williams can absorb a lot of contact. Torches his man there. The Rockets have gone 5 of 12 from the field since the opening tip. Here is House. An 11-point game for him in the win against New Orleans. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Well, we've seen some head coaching changes, Greg. We're early in the season. How long does it take to fully implement, do you think, a, a new system with a new coach? You know, it's a tough question, Kevin. It really can, can depend on how difficult or complicated oh, the system break. is. Take a break. But all things being Two equal, the, the experienced teams often learn faster because they just understand the game better. And he knocks down the first one. Houston making some changes to Marcus Cousins. He's checked in for Wood. Then McLemore comes in for P.J. Tucker. And it's Gordon in for Oladipo. The Clippers also changing it up. Zubat is checked in for Ibaka. Luke Kennard comes in for Morris. And it's Patrick Beverly in for Williams. And so House nails both of them. Now, here is George. He's coming off a 16-point game against Toronto. Boy, I thought his passing was absolutely fantastic. I mean, really picked apart the defense all game long. Now, here's George. And, oh, that was close. He draws the foul. He'll shoot two. It's on DeMarcus Cousins. Well, you really have to like how George uses his body effectively down low there. I mean, the defense pretty much has no choice but to foul him in that situation. The Clippers shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. And the word is they challenge each other, guys. I mean, each and every one of them to improve their free throw shooting in the offseason. Held each other accountable in that area. And now you see the results individually and as a whole. First one falls for him. And George has learned a lot and I think continues to evolve as a leader. He uh, relishes the chance to deliver for this team. And both free throws good for Paul George. Just solid. Really one of the very best there is at the free throw line. Ball against Beverly. Left side wall. Kennard against Gordon. And the rejection by Zubats. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. Well, I don't think there's any question about it. They came focused and ready to play. I mean, they're doing everything they can to um, put things in their favor. You earn that, and they're actually earning it well right now. And he makes the first. Boy, Greg, there is a lot to like offensively for Luke Kennard. I tell you, he can shoot it. He's a crafty finisher and really improving as a passer. The question mark is the defensive end. 6'5 in height and wingspan. Not a leap tool, so he's got to get by on his instincts and his anticipation. Both good from the line that time. Rockets trail by three. All with it. He picked up 15 points in their last one against New Orleans. Boy, I thought his passing was absolutely fantastic. I mean, really picked apart the defense all game long. That's a miss. It's miss number two and shots from the floor. 
And so Beverly will bring it up for the Clippers. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And with a break here, let's look at the stats for John Wall. He's getting around 20 points per, six assists, and two rebounds. And you talk about guys who just have a nose for putting up points. He is one of them. Yeah, he sure is. And he rarely has back-to-back -back bad games. If he has an off night, he usually follows that up with a big night. And the first one at the line is good. And Jackson certainly doesn't lack confidence. A speedy guard who can fill it up in no time. David Nwaba is checked in for Houston. Jackson hits both of them. Looking at current NBA players, Greg, leaving aside the real star players, who would you love to have played with from this era? And there are so many guys that, you know, and I hate to call them role players because they bring so much more to the table. But in reality, they got to fill some roles, right? And, you know, John Collins is a guy who's got great potential, a, a tremendous finisher around the, the rim. How about Robert Covington, a smooth shooter who, who defends his tail off? Davis Bertans, a, a deadly floor spacer who, who can put the ball down and, and create and make plays. So there's so many guys like that in the league that make a difference in determining whether your team can win or lose. Boy, those are three names I don't know that I would have mentioned, so I'm glad you did. Kennard against Gordon. The shot will not fall, so Los Angeles will take it the other way. And that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage, Kevin. Pretty clear they're dominating that area. They've come out with a lot more energy and effort so far. And with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. Old school D right there. Just telling them no easy layups. It's as simple as that. And that's what you expect from them. That free throw, good from Kennard. Yeah, drawing fouls and making them pay at the line. Boy, I love that attack mentality. Get in there and force the official to make a call. Both shots good from the strike. And they've clearly been the aggressors here early on, drawing fouls and working themselves to the line. And that is always a good recipe for offensive efficiency and a key to their lead tonight. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. You got to love his hustle, leaving the defense no time to react. And, you know, you're going to get those buckets, guys, when you're quick to get out on the break. Get that ball up the court as fast as you can. Buckets trail by nine. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. And now the first timeout called here for the Rockets. You know, trying to stem the tide here. Yeah, you know, they had to do something, anything to stop this run. You can't just let it go on any longer. Why don't we go to the 2K leaderboard? Over the past month, these teams have been playing a very entertaining brand of basketball. In third, the Rockets. Fifth, the Clippers. Great play from both of these teams in the open court. You love the energy and effort they've displayed lately here in getting out and forcing the issue. Now here's Gordon. An 11-point game for him in the win against the Pelicans in New Orleans. Four on the shot clock. Will it go? It's hauled in by the Clippers. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Yeah, sensational is a really good word for it. They're tearing it up on the glass. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Now here's Gordon. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. So hard, actually impossible to cut into the lead when you have a guy struggling this badly. Passes it to Beverly. And here's Kennard. He's averaging a bit over five points a game. Back to Beverly. Shoots it. 
Patterson can't get it to go. Rockets trail by 11. McLemore with the ball. Guarded now by Jackson. McLemore with the ball. Jackson on him. Shots good by McLemore. No defensive pressure at all. I mean, that's not going to get it done against him. Now, Kennard. Pass to Jackson. And here is Patterson. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. And the rejection by Cousins. Cousins not one to be challenged there. Tenacious denial. Here's McLemore. 11 points for him in that last game against the Pelicans in New Orleans. And the basket by Gordon. Now here's Beverly. Looking at his numbers, he's averaging about uh, six and a half points a game. Pass to Zubats. There's 117 left here in the first quarter. Takes the 13-footer. Jackson gets the bucket. And the Clippers lead by nine. And he uses the threat of his drive to open up looks for him offensively. Jackson is one smart cookie. Gordon kicks to House. Cousins inside. Working on Zubas. The shot by House is no good. Here's Jackson. Rebound by House. Boy, that defense smothered him in there. Love the intensity. Here's Cousins. Rebound by the Clippers. Zubats has got five rebounds tonight. Everly with the ball. Eight points his last outing. Outside Jackson. The pass to Kennard. On the wing, Jackson. Nine points, last game out. Here's Mwaba. Left side, Gordon. And so it's Los Angeles. Ahead by nine as the quarter comes to a close. They've set the tone. They love their tempo. They're going to be very tough to stop. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. Earlier tonight, we spoke with Paul George about how they've integrated all the talent on this team. Everybody has a chip on their shoulder. Everybody wants to win. Um, and there's no egos. Everybody has fun. We play together. We move the ball. We make sacrifices. Uh, and we enjoy getting stops. Break that last point is key. This team plays lockdown defense. And that's a big part of their identity. Most teams talk about being well balanced. This team lives it. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. And taking a look at Los Angeles' performance here, what have they been doing or not doing? You got to credit their defense, communicating, rotating, making plays on the ball. They've got them rattled. It's only the first quarter, and already they've made enough big plays on defense to last really an entire game. Gordon is out there with Ben McLemore. Then it's Porter. Then there's DeMarcus Cousins, and it's Maba in at the power forward. That's the group starting the second quarter for the Rockets. Now here's Beverly. to the paint. Here's Kennard. Ice D from Porter. And, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight but not sure on that position. Clippers leading by seven. And here's Beverly. Here's Zubats. Second shot opportunity. He takes it up and lays it in. Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. Hey, guy standing around spectating. I mean, you got to get in there and get tough. Now, here's Cousins. A 14-point game for him in the win against the Pelicans in New Orleans. 
Yeah, but the rebounding in that game as well was just tremendous. I mean, he dominated the backboard. And Kevin Porter Jr., all the issues you'd expect from a rookie, Greg. Unforced errors, a few too many fouls and turnovers. But as you and I were talking, and as the coaches told us, the upside is huge. I tell you, Kev, his first step with the ball in his hands is incredible. Can burst by defenders like they're waiting at a bus stop. Once he matures, he is going to be a handful to deal with. free throw is good. Greg, so many people know your story. Born and raised in Las Vegas. It must have been an amazing feeling then to lead UNLV to its only championship. I mean, Kevin, you know, playing in front of so many people you know has its pros and cons. Right. But to be a part of that 1990 championship team and the only one we've been able to hoist and to have my jersey hanging in that rafter, it's humbling and Yes, it brings back a lot of fond memories. Like historically good, right? When you think of that team, what that meant, uh, it has a historic place. It, it does. Well, we felt like we were able to etch our mark in terms of the lures of the game of college basketball. Oladipo misses. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Guys, that's putting it mildly. I mean, they've been absolutely dominant. They get it again. Zubats. And the dunk by Zubats. There it is, guys. One of those effort plays that makes a big difference in the game. And GA, it is definitely making a difference so far today. Well, you know, if you're not going to take care of the defensive glass, it's going to be hard to come away with the win. And that's a foul. It's called on Reggie Jackson. That is his first foul of the game. Lou Williams has checked in for the Clippers. inside and wall gets it to go in on the assist by Oladipo wall's got 13 I'll tell you when wall is scoring like this it's special to watch a spectacular explosive performance and we've got an update here so let's catch up with David Aldridge Kevin good evening the Clippers were picked by many to win the title last year now they didn't get it done but Kawhi Leonard is not concerned he said we've just got to keep getting better keep fighting it's about the right team peaking at the right time guys they're hoping this season their talent and their fight will win out back to you we will see good stuff da thanks wood can't hit and here's george he'll bring it up for the los angeles clippers this is the most they've led by 13 points drills the three-pointer there's not much a defender can do when George decides to go up with the pull-up. I mean, you've got to respect both his shooting and his driving ability because of his speed on the dribble. A wide-open look here for Oladipo. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Now Williams. He's coming off a 10-point game against Toronto. Pass to George. Just five to shoot. They get it back. Zubats. No good with the layup. Rockets trail by 16. And a wide open look for Porter. Good. And it's Oladipo picking up the assist. Oladipo's got four assists now tonight. Outside Leonard. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. So hard to guard, really, without fouling. Leonard is an expert at forcing the issue and getting the call. And, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Clippers? It looks like they're ready to run, fellas. I mean, they haven't hesitated at all to get out on the break so far. Yeah, also, though, they've done a good job of pounding the offensive glass for second chance points. A free throw drops for Leonard. And they have yet to miss a shot from the line here this quarter. Yeah, you have to make teams pay for fouling you. That's why they call them free. And they've done exactly that. Made them pay. Morris is checked in for Zubas.
All free throws good from Kawhi Leonard. And the soft-spoken Leonard is now an elite talent in this league, an athletic forward who leads by example. Now here's Wall. He's got 13. Pass to Oladipo. Let's it go from deep. And another three for Houston. Great pass. John Wall is really good at finding the open man. Los Angeles leading by 12. Leonard looking over the floor. And a good offensive board. And he gets the bucket. Leonard's got four points this quarter. They're scoring boatloads of buckets. It's raining buckets from inside. Well, the defensive rotations have been a step slow. And it's really helped them get that ball inside time after time. And oh boy, a lot of contact there. But he gets the call and will shoot two. Serge Ibaka picks one up there. And I tell you, Oladipo really putting defenders in a tough spot. I mean, using his length outstandingly to draw these fouls. The Rockets shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free Take throw line. One of the things they've done, guys, Two is shot. taken pride in their free throw shooting this season. And rightfully so. The free throw drops for Oladipo. Greg, you and I have talked about how the NBA Finals used to be tape delayed. What's the value of fans getting to see the broadcast live now as opposed to tape delayed as it was back in the, in the 70s? Isn't that a, weird to even think that that's it the is. case? I know but, it. <laughs> you know, I, I think, Kev, that the fans, they just feel more connected to their favorite teams, the end players. Uh, it creates more anxiety, right? Because nowadays there's nothing that can happen that you don't know about it, whether you see it or not. Uh, so live sports, especially the NBA Finals, the anticipation, that anxiety that we talked about, man, I, I'm still a fan to this day in a different way. Uh, so I can only imagine when you have a personal vested interest in the team, what that's got to feel like. Edge of your seat, you're right. That free throw good from George. Well, we know Clark without distractions or outside issues, no travel. The players in the bubble on that Orlando campus were laser focused. Do you feel that boosted the level of play, the quality of play? I think it did, Kevin. I think the biggest part of that was the lack of travel, not needing to jump on planes and back and forth to different cities and getting in late at night. I think that created an atmosphere where guys could really focus on their bodies and their rest and playing the game. So I do think it increased the um, level of play a bit. Wall. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Hard not to appreciate the brilliance of Wall. I mean, a super fast, quick player. A guy who runs the offense exceedingly well. And the first one drops. And that one goes in, two from the line that time. Hey, guys, this is the way to stay in the game. They're, they're doing a masterful job from the line. Perfect this quarter. And George, here we go. And that one, good. George has got 11 points. Not much you can do against Paul George on the drive. I mean, he's got great length, and he knows how to use it, and he gets exactly where he wants to. And so it's Wall with it, bringing it up for the Houston Rockets. It's a 14-point game. Next up will be a home game matched up against the Pacers. And that game is the second of two straight at home. And yes, it's good. Oladipo's got seven points here in this quarter. The Clippers have gone six of 14 shooting here in the second. Leonard against Porter. Now here's Leonard, guarded closer. Here's Ibaka. That's good, and it's Leonard with the assist. Leonard's got three assists in the game. Houston's gone two for five from three-point land since the end of the first. Tucker finds Wood. Houston moving it around. He muscles it in through the contact, and they call the foul. He's on his way to the free throw line. Seems like he can't miss right now, guys. I mean, completely in the zone this quarter. The Rockets have been a perfect eight of eight at the line. And the Rockets making a change here. House is checked in.
Russia. That's good from Oladipo. Now here's Leonard. Last game out, 36 points for him. Rockets with the rebound. Well, I don't think he's performing up to his own expectations, but they still find themselves out in front. And being over the limit this early really can affect your aggressiveness defensively. They have got to play under control. And Christian Wood, undrafted in 2015 out of UNLV. Wait a minute, that's your alma mater. <laughs> hey, talk about his game. What do you like about Christian Wood's game? Well, first I'll start with he went to UNLV. Uh, he's long, he's lean. He, I think he really fits the modern NBA as a small ball center. Able to hold his own on the glass and space the floor. Now, here is George. 11 points in the game. All with it. The kick out to Porter. Pass to Oladipo. Jacks up a three. No good that time. And the Clippers will come the other way. At one point, they led by 16. And the Clippers miss again. And this quarter, he has clearly been off the mark. It's Porter outside. It's hauled in by George. Los Angeles leading by nine. Leonard top of the key trying to get open as a bucket Leonard no luck well I'll tell you what he's gonna buy himself a ticket to the bench if he keeps shooting it like that he has been putrid here this quarter he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points just in a perfect position to grab that rebound and then get the put back Odipo against George got a piece of it and out of bounds as the Clippers gain possession. And as we check out this year's contenders for the dunk contest, we get a look at some of the showmen, the best showmen in the NBA. And with the names on that list, you know we're going to have a crazy competition this year. You look at Wood, some might say he's a long shot at this point, but you never know. Hey, stranger things have happened, and we'll just have to wait and see. And so that's the breakdown as it currently stands. We'll be keeping you all updated with the latest info and, of course, our final list of contestants as we get closer. Yeah, and if they don't invite me to be a judge, I, I'm still going. This is his first chance at the line tonight. And just 72% from two. the line a season ago. Not the greatest of numbers, but there are guys who are far worse off when it comes to free throw shooting. I don't think you really can say enough about the work he's put in and the massive strides he's made in his free throw shooting, guys. I mean, his numbers are way up this year. The first one falls. Houston making some changes. DeMarcus Cousins comes in for Christian Wood. And Gordon subbed in for Oladipo. Kennard, he's checked in for the Clippers. Patrick Beverly comes in for Williams. Los Angeles leading by five. Here's Beverly. Kennard on the wing. Over Gordon. Kennard, the pass to Ibaka. Trying to get something going. Cousins pulls it in. Cousins has got his fourth rebound in this one. There's Gordon with the three. Good on the triple. Gordon's got five minutes. You cannot let Gordon get it going from the perimeter. He's an incredibly consistent and persistent long-range shooter. So timeout called here. The first for Los Angeles. And they're picking up a lot of fouls already in the penalty not a good sign they need to focus on moving their feet and maintaining a good defensive position mclemore's checked in for porter and it's leonard with the ball he'll bring it up for the los angeles clippers happy to see that one going after missing six of his nine shots today and he moves so well when leonard drives the lane it's pretty much a guaranteed bucket terrific body control and he plays with the ultimate force. Here's Wall. Kawhi Leonard making his last shot. Wall looking for an opening. And the officials will call the illegal screen right there. And a chance here to check out some stamps for Victor Oladipo. 
and he's fallen out of favor a little bit in their offense, at least compared to how he was being used earlier in the season. His usage percentage is down over the past five games. Maybe he'll be more involved here tonight. David Mwaba has checked in for John Wall. And then for Los Angeles, Patterson comes in for Serge Ibaka. And Reggie Jackson subbed in for Leonard. Clippers leading by four. It's stolen by McLemore. That's a stomach punch, guys. Mm. Turn it over and give him a free run to the bucket. Oh, you're so right. No question who has the momentum now. You know, those kinds of plays can be difference makers, game changers, momentum shifters, especially in a close contest where one or two possessions can impact the outcome. Beverly, that one drops, and he's now two for five. And Beverly is a menace inside. I mean, incredibly crafty at finding ways to score down there. And here's Gordon. He has five. High post Cousins pulls from the top of the key. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Beverly's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Jackson, that's good. Love the unselfishness of Beverly. I mean, when he sees his teammate wide open, he quickly gets him the ball. We've got 148 left in the first half of the game. Gordon against Beverly. That's tipped. And they hold a huge advantage on the backboard. And that's been the key to this lead. I mean, they've really dominated the glass. Not an easy basket for Jackson. He doesn't shoot a really high percentage, but he does make a lot of tough hoops. Pockets trail by eight. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Here's Gordon. And he converts the layup. Gordon's got seven points. How about the purpose with which he's crashing the backboards right now? Some hard-earned second-chance points. Up top, Morris. There's the pass to Kennard. Down to five on the shot clock. Used the shot think to create the angle, but couldn't get it to fall. Waba passes to Cousins. It's Reggie Jackson with the rebound. Jackson's got four rebounds now tonight. And Beverly kicks to Kanon. Buries the long-range jumper. Seven points in the game. And just a great job of controlling that defensive backboard, then getting out in transition. That's been the difference. Seven straight fast break points. They've got the defense gasping for breath right now. Yeah, the defender all over him. He got him good there. I mean, that's why the shot was so far off. This is his first free throw of the game. Listen, 84 is a really good number to post at the foul line, and that's where he's at on the year. And I like the fact, guys, that those numbers have gone up since last season. I mean, Take he said break. free throw shooting Two was shot. an area he was looking to improve, and he has. The first free throw is good. Really appreciate the all-around game of Gordon. He's an underrated defender, but a dynamic scorer. And Gordon drops them both. 19 seconds left in the second quarter. Gordon against Jackson. For three. You know, excellent quickness by Gordon, and you got to respect that, especially on defense where he's able to hound the offensive player. That'll do it for the first half. The Clippers on top. Up by seven. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. 
Thanks, Kevin. Kawhi, you have grown so much offensively throughout your career. What's the focus of that end of the floor? Uh, you know, just knocking out open shots, uh, my ball handling, make a good decisions, talk to pick and roll, and just try to limit my turnovers. And you've done well so far, Kawhi. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is right here. Say hey to the folks, Kenny. Hey, folks. Say hey to the yeah, folks, Shaq. Hey, folks. folks. Hey, let's get this party started. Okay. And the greatest bench scorer in NBA history. Lou Williams. Mm. Only getting better with age, Yeah, Kenny. I like that. Mm. NBA history. He's a walking bucket. Defender know what's coming. Still can't stop it. Back away, Benny Johnson. Mm, sick watch. But he's, he's top of the top. I never heard of those Jamal players. Jamal Crawford. I never heard of those players. But his passion is also reaching the other. He's a master operator in that pick and roll. Yeah, he is. And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter set to begin in just a few. We played through the first half. Plenty of basketball, though, left in this one. An exceptional performance from John Wall. He's done a fantastic job of finding open space to operate within the first few quarters. And you know what? It helped that they had a few guys with very hot hands on the perimeter, too. And here are the Rockets now. They trail by seven. Well, we've got a moment. Let's set the floor. Brought to you by Gatorade. All fueled up for the second half. And the Clippers, looking at who they've got. Kawhi Leonard is out there with Marcus Morris. Then it's Paul George. Then it's Williams. And it's Ibaka in at the five down low. Porter against Leonard. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. Porter's got his fourth rebound in this one. And here's Wall outside. It's rebounded by Leonard. And so George will bring it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. At one point, they led by 16. And he gets the bucket. No success thus far trying to guard George tonight. I mean, he is absolutely shredding. Here's Wall. Oladipo outside. Houston moving it around. To the right side. The wide open look here for Wood. And the three off target. And they're one of four here to start the second half. Leonard attacking. And, and there's only ever going to be one result when Kawhi's driving to the bucket. And it's going to be loud. And it's going to be painful. Rockets trail by nine. 90 seconds now into the second half. And then Oladipo with the jam. Boy, he's got freakish athleticism, and you can see why he's participated in the slam dunk contest before. This guy can fly. Now, here's George. He's got 13. Passes to Leonard. Puts up a three. Ice D from Porter. Definitely a situation you want to make sure you don't give him too good of a look. A nice shot by Wall. And in the post, Wall's got a pretty well-developed game for a point guard. He can navigate his way through the big bodies with very few problems. Leonard against Porter. Here's George. And right on through for another basket. He's got five made on five of nine shooting. No doubt about the consistency when it comes to scoring the basketball for him tonight. A real nice lift for their offense. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Wall against Williams. That one's good, and the Clipper lead is cut down now to just five on the basket from Wall. Such a shrewd playmaker. Love watching Wall break down the defense in the pick and roll. 
now. Here's George. He's got 15. Leonard the pass to Williams. Kicks it out to Leonard. Let's the three fly. Sinks the three pointer. Leonard's got 13 points. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Well, when you look at the assist totals, heck, they've been clearly the better team. and we're three minutes into the third here. Out left to the wing. Back to Oladipo. Up again. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. Leonard attacking, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Here's what the Houston Rockets schedule looks like on Tuesday. They'll defend home court against the Indiana Pacers. Then on Wednesday, they'll take on Carl Anthony Towns and the Minnesota Timberwolves. And you know for that matchup with Denver, Super two. there aren't many other meetings that are as evenly matched as this one. Both teams can give and take punches, and this one, I think, is going to come down to the wire. First one falls for him. That's good as he hits both of his shots. Rockets trail by eight. Little under two and a half minutes off the clock now here in the third. Now Oladipo, 16 points for him. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Boy, it's hard to overstate the strength of Oladipo. Sometimes you just can't shake this guy off his shot. This will make four trips to the line so far in the game. And with a percentage of, of 82, he's been one of their more dependable shooters from the line. And you know, with those numbers, he makes a defender hesitant to get too tight on him. I mean, he doesn't want to get whistled for the foul and put this guy on the line. Now here's Williams. Looking at his point production, he averages almost 11 points a game. Ibaka dishes to Williams. Ibaka, the pass to Leonard. Six on the shot clock. Ibaka with the ball. Now guarded by Porter. Leonard attacking, and he hits it just before the shot clock expires. Leonard's got nine points here in the second half. The Rockets have gone six and nine from the floor here in the second half. They've got to be happy with that. Pass to Porter. To Oladipo. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That one on George. Oladipo forced to get crafty and creative that time, pulling out all the stops and is able to get the shot off. And the second free throw, good. Clippers leading by six. George looking over the floor. Let's it go from 14. It's not going to go for him. Nice D from Oladipo. And so it's Wall. He brings it up for the Houston Rockets. And that corner three, a cornerstone of P.J. Tucker's game. Takes and makes them as much as anybody in the league. And Greg, how about this little factoid? Back at the University of Texas, he only shot four triples in three seasons. Floor spacing was not a part of his game. It was about getting that thing in the paint. But to his credit, and it's an example for all young players, through hard work, 
that short corner has become his bread and butter shot. Talk about a total transformation from no threes to being a dead eye corner three shoot. Demarcus Cousins, he's checked in for Houston. Zubats is checked in for the Clippers. And that was a great replay we just saw of our mobile one block. And those are plays that get you in front and keep you in front. Wall against Williams. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. You look at Williams, and he's rather slight in build, but he's got sneaky strength and terrific body control. And a chance for just a second now to check out the scoring breakdown for the Clippers. Guys, their play close to the hoop has been great all game. Yeah, but also, they haven't missed a beat in terms of their fast break game. That's been equally as effective all night long. Lou Williams, so crafty GA, just a knack for putting the ball in the basket. This guy just has the gift. I mean, it's been that way forever. He is just a born scorer. Here's Wall. Good. And it's Cousins picking up the assist. Wall's got 21. Clippers leading by seven. Outside Williams. Outside, George. Shot clock at five. Over Oladipo. He clangs that one off the back iron and down it falls. George has got six points in the quarter. Because of the high release and he elevates so well, George can make these shots look elementary, even when they aren't. Yep, it goes, and the Clipper lead is cut to just seven points in the basket from Tucker. Now, how about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket? Williams dishes to Ibaka. Back to Williams. Kicks it out to Leonard. Williams against Wall. Misses the three, and he used the pump fake well there, but he couldn't capitalize. Finished off the break. Now just a five-point clipper lead. Attacking in transition, the most consistent way to generate easy looks. Yep, exactly, and if there's any opportunity for early offense, you've got to push it and push it every time. Now here's Leonard. 19 points in the game, and it's good for two. Boy, he's really been on a roll this quarter. Seems like everything he throws up is finding bottom. Houston's gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Oladipo outside. Pass to Porter. Outside, Wall. From deep. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. At one point, they led by 16. And following this one, they'll take on the Hornets in New Orleans. That'll be the second of this two-game road trip. Rockets trail by seven. Hot pass to Wall. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Oladipo. And a moment here to see the numbers for DeMarcus Cousins. He's putting up about 14 points a night, 14 rebounds, and almost two and a half blocks. And, and really just excellent numbers. I like what we've been seeing from him across the board. I do, too. I mean, he's playing with much more focus now and a much higher level of intensity. Now here's Williams. Seven points in the game. Zubats, that's good. Zubats has got six. Yeah, heads-up aggressive play right there. Saw the smaller man on him and took it straight to the basket. Rocket shooting from the field. 44%, not bad. Timeout called the Rockets. Timeout. You have Timeout. to like what we're seeing so far from Started. Kawhi Leonard. And he's getting to the rack all game, and if they can't do a better job of keeping him out of the paint, they're in for a long night. So for the Rockets, Daniel House has checked in for P.J. Tucker. Ben McLemore comes in for Kevin Porter. And Gordon subbed in for Oladipo. The Clippers also changing it up. Luke Kennard, he's checked in for Ibaka. 
Jackson comes in for George. And it's Patrick Beverly in for Williams. A good job by him on the glass here tonight. Plus eight in that department. And then Leonard enjoys jamming it home. Got to keep him as far away from the hoop as possible. Rockets trail by 11. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Here's Wall. That one falls. Wall's got 10 points in just the second half. And really, the scoring this quarter has been just off the charts, doing all he can to bring them back. The pass to Beverly. Now, Leonard. Always going up for the alley-oop here. And the dunk by Zubox. Yeah, I love the court awareness from Kawhi there. Dependable at getting it to his uncovered teammates. To the wing on the left. Here's Cousins. And good. Got the English that time as it falls. Cousins has got his first basket of the night. Clippers leading by nine. Beverly finds Kennard. Good work there as it goes. Kennard's got nine points. Man, have they been effective at getting the ball inside. I tell you, we're taking a look at some real deficiencies defensively. I mean, they've given up five straight good looks in the paint. Here's Wall after the Clippers pick up two. Passes it to Cousins. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. When Cousins plays with that kind of force, it really puts the defense in a pickle and typically leads to him being fouled. This is his first trip to the line tonight. An 89% free throw shooter puts him right there among the league's best from the line. Yeah, guys. I mean, he's been a very steady hand for them when it comes to his free throw shooting. That free throw good from Cousins. Yeah, you know, you go back to when Cousins was drafted, and there were some that, that questioned his attitude, but lately, I don't think that's the case anymore. He's perfect from the line this time. And so it's Jackson who brings it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. They have a nine-point lead. That's tipped. That's going to be out of bounds. Los Angeles will retain possession. While there's a break, let's take a look at this past month's assist leaders among small forwards in the NBA. In the third spot, Kawhi Leonard. The, the, the passes we've seen some of these guys make from the wing, just outstanding, truly gifted distributors. I tell you what, you could put the isolated cam on these guys and you would notice how flawlessly they execute those entry passes. They create so many easy baskets in the low post because of how on time and on target those feeds are. No question, he got bumped on that shot. Yeah, the officials didn't need to talk that one over. It was obvious. So far, he's hit all of his shots at the foul line, going four for four. Gotta admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How about over 90%? And I'll shooting tell you two. guys, I mean, to see the improvement he's made in his free throw shooting in the space of just one season, I think it's been remarkable. And he makes the first. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll help them seal the deal. Yeah, they've not missed a single foul shot this half, and that's taking care of business, fellas. He hits both from the strike. Rockets trail by 11. Now here's Wall. He's got 25. He kicks to McLemore. And it's wide right. Hits off the rim. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor 
in cracking this huge lead. And it's been a well-rounded performance. I mean, strong rebounding has certainly been at, been at the at the center of it, but it's been good on a number of levels. Three trips to the line so far for him in this one. Shooting two. down the first one. And he makes both free throws. Here's Wall. A decent amount of time left as they try to find a way back into it. Yeah, but it will be soon if they don't start cutting into this deficit. Oh, forget about going for the long-range bomb to cut into that lead. Just take it to the hoop, my friend. And how brilliant throwdown. Exercising his authority. Kennard's shot is off. Houston's getting blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. Offensive rebound. And the rejection by Leonard. And just a big-time shot-blocking threat. Leonard's instincts on defense are just mind-boggling. Knows when to go after the blocks. Oh, and just a soft touch on both ends of that pretty alley. -oop. I got to say, when he threw the pass, I didn't know where it was going. Neither did the defense. And it's the Rockets with the ball. After the basket by Los Angeles. Here's Wall, and the slam dunk by Wall. And always a bonus to have a point guard who can dunk the basketball. Wall has great initiative when it comes to rising up and throwing it down. And the Clippers call time here. And the Rockets making a change here. Woods checked in. Well, I know we're not too far along in the season yet, Kevin, but let's see how the Clippers have done so far in the league rankings. Uh, you, they don't make many mistakes. I just love the mental toughness. You saw third fewest turnovers per game. Great decision-making is so valuable, particularly down the stretch. Definitely a notch in their favor. Count that one. Wall's got it back down to within single digits for the Rockets. Well, we know Eric Gordon is a great shooter now, but he is also willing to make the extra pass. Leonard with the ball. 25 points in the game. Left side Jackson. It's stolen by Wall. Here's the break. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Pass to Cousins. Fires the three. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. At one point, they led by 16. And, and they continue to control the glass. Guys, I think they've simply been the more physical team, and that's why they're ahead. Here's Leonard, gets the 14-footer to fall. Leonard's got 27. Yeah, and for mid-range, Leonard's jump shot is money. It doesn't matter if it's off the dribble or catch and shoot. He, he never loses his touch. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. Clippers lead by 11. We'll be back shortly live from Houston, Texas. Now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. Uh, just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? And they'd love to see every possession in this way. True team basketball. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. We've got DeMarcus Cousins all out there with Gordon. Then it's Christian Wood and it's House and at the small forward position. That's the five for Houston right now. Good on. And it's rebounded by DeMarcus Cousins. Cousins has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Wood can't hit. 
Clippers leading by 11. Jackson with it. And it's Gordon picking him up. Jackson trying to break free. Yep, that one goes. That gives him the double-double. 10 points and 10 rebounds. Here's Wall. Pass to Cousins. Kicks it out to Gordon. He's off on that one. And it's the Clippers taking it the other way. Morris right side. Here's Zubats on the money with the open jumper. Zubats has got four points in the quarter. And with their hot shooting here in the second half, their field goal percentage over 50% now for the game. Yeah, it's not a surprise then to see them out in front the way they've been efficient offensively in this half and actually throughout the entire game. Not his best game, but they're still getting it done collectively. A nice shot by Wall. Boy, he's making it look really easy right now. I expect him to continue to run the offense through him until the defense makes him change plans. Now here's Beverly. Now the pass to Zubats. It's rebounded by Houston. Woods got five rebounds tonight. Passes it to Gordon. Here's Cousins. Reggie Jackson with the rebound. Jackson's got seven rebounds in the game. Here's Kennard. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Yeah, easy call. Yeah, you can hear the smack all the way over here where we are. That free throw, good from Kennard. For the Rockets, P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for Cousins. Porter comes in for Daniel House. And it's Victor Oladipo in for John Wall. The Clippers also changing it up. Serge Ibaka, he's checked in for Zubox. Paul George comes in for Reggie Jackson. Lou Williams is subbed in for Patrick Beverly. And here's Oladipo. He'll bring it up for the Houston Rockets. 15-point game. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Even in close to the hoop. That's a tough one to drain when the defense is that stifling. Morris kicks to Williams. Over Gordon. Los Angeles with another miss. Well, the defense refusing to give up anything easy. Love seeing that kind of intensity. And finished off by Wood. And, and no doubt they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. And that deficit will go away quickly if he does, Greg. Well, I like the way he capped off that drive. The one hand hole punch. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Well, I tell you what, Kevin, every year it seems like Williams draws more fouls per minute. Man, he's a very savvy offensive talent. Shooting two. First free throw is good. Well, he's an outstanding free throw percentage shooter. I mean, for his career, one of the best is Williams. Kawhi Leonard is checked in for Luke Kanaan. Williams drops them both. Rockets trail by 15. And we're about three minutes into the fourth quarter. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Yeah, double-digit advantage on the scoreboard. They've taken the initiative. They've played, I think, with more purpose so far. Two 
And the first one at the line is good. And George drops them both. Rockets have gone just two of eight in this fourth quarter. The final quarter not treating them well so far. Gordon finds Oladipo. From down in the low post, it goes. Oladipo's got 12 points here in the second half. Clippers leading by 15. Pass to Leonard. Leonard draws the double. Back to Williams. Clippers moving the ball around. Now here's George, guarded by Tucker. Here's Morris, and there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul, shot misses. He'll be shooting two. And Houston gets called for the foul. Shoot two. And the first one drops. misses so he goes one for two Rockets trail by 16 and here's Gordon outside Porter over Morris it's rebounded by Leonard Leonard's got six rebounds here tonight lets it go from 11 now Gordon Up top, Oladipo. He's guarded by Williams. Here's Porter. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. Ibaka's got seven rebounds in the game. Back to Morris. And there's the feed to George. And it's George finishing it off. Hey, and George really is one of the better dunkers in the league. Actually, one of the best. He's creative. He's got great bounce, excellent length, and... Pretty creative every time he gets a chance to throw it down. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. The putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Boy, he's been a different player here in the second half, looking much more comfortable on the offensive end. Now here's Williams. Pass to George. Five to shoot. And George with the stuff. Look at how high George gets off these drives to the hoop. Banging it down with the violence of a madman. So Oladipo will bring it up for the Houston Rockets. They trail by 18. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. That one on George. And he makes the first. John Walls checked in for Eric Gordon. He's off on the second. Los Angeles leading by 17. Here's George. It falls for basket number nine from the field. He's taken 14 shots to get there. Well, I tell you, George is an amazing athlete. He's got great speed, and when he's in the open court running the break, timeout, timeout. that's a scary look for the defense. 
Timeout called the Rockets. You have to like what we're seeing so far from Kawhi Leonard. You know, that defense is helpless right now. I mean, he's got their number, and he knows it. against Williams tries from 10 the rebound by Ibaka and the D does just enough to throw off his rhythm on that shot pockets trailed by 19 and wall with the slam puts the D in a tough spot when you have a point guard who can throw it down he really does GA he really does put pressure on him and you know, guys, showing how dynamic a weapon he is for this offense, they feed off of that energy and ability to make plays. It gets them going. Here's George following the score by Houston. And Ibaka slams it in. Yes, and how about the unselfishness? Paul George has no problem sharing the ball. The Rockets shooting a paltry 33% in the fourth. Not a good showing for this offense. The pass to Oladipo. Yes, that goes in. Here's George. George double teamed. Here's Morris. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. First free throw is good. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. Rockets trailed by 19. All with it. Down low, here's Porter, and the rejection by Ibaka. And well, he's been the NBA's leader in blocks multiple times. Ibaka just has that rare instinct for it. Morris outside. George passes to Leonard. Tries again. Shots good by Ibaka. Ibaka's got four points now in the quarter. Yeah, and the ability to generate points off offensive rebounds, something Ibaka did a lot earlier in his career before he started spending so much time on the perimeter. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Well, in the dunk contest, we saw Michael Jordan take on Dominique Wilkins. These days, not as many star players are participating in these skills competitions, like uh, Greg the Slam Dunk. I think it's a great point you raised, Kevin, and, and I think in part because back in that era, you know, the reality is guys didn't make the kind of dollars they make today. Uh, and there was more risk, I guess, in the mindset of guys today, and they did, didn't want to take that challenge on. So I, I, I wish we would see more of our stars in the slam dunk contest, but yes, I yes. don't think that's going to be the case, unfortunately, uh, as, as much as we'd all like to see it. So Wald nails both of them. Los Angeles leading by 19 points. Here's Williams. Passes it to Morris. Now Leonard. 
Guarded by Porter. And it's good. Two points. Leonard has really become so good at catching and firing. I mean, he doesn't allow the defense any time to alter his shot. So it's the Rockets now. Pass to Wood. And finished off by Wood. And this guy, to me, embodies determination. Small at his position, but he still gets up and keeps plays alive. That's mind over matter for sure. Now here's Williams. Pass to Ibaka. In the corner, George with it. Here's Williams. Rebound by John Wall. Rockets trail by 19. Odebo for three. The Clippers grab the miss. Ibaka's got the glass covered here tonight. 11 boards for him. Williams kicks to Ibaka. Back to Williams. Banked in off the glass. And the Clippers lead by 21. Encouraging signs for him after starting the game poorly. He's picked it up here in the second half. Here is Wall. Oladipo outside. Wall passes to Porter. Back to Wall. Oladipo taking his time here. It's Wood, top of the key. Good, and it's Oladipo picking up the assist. Well, you certainly can't fault him as the reason they're behind. He's been on target and on top of his game. And there's the pass to Ibaka. All sorts of time. And that one goes long. Boy, the defense got lucky there with him missing it. But they don't want to chance that again. Left side wall. No good on the three. But they'll get another chance. Clippers leading by 18. And Williams, here we go. Can't hit from in close. Houston's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. From deep, Wood. Shot number 12 goes in. He's made seven of 12 now. And the defense scattered all over the place on the break. Nice job finding the wide open three. Williams in the post, covered by Wall. Morris, no good. And so it's Wall with it, bringing it up for the Rockets. Here's Porter, and he drops it in from the low post. And all of a sudden, things finally coming together for them. The deficit still large, but now not insurmountable. That kind of deficit, I think they're going about it the right way. I mean, they've got to get aggressive on defense. They need stops. And then you got to take care of the basketball at the other end so you get a good shot every trip. Well, we know, Clark, that's something that's also going to impact the NBA this season. Teams are not going to get a lot of footage of the incoming draft class. Great point, Kevin. And again, that's why the executives get paid the big bucks. Hopefully they've done plenty of work to see a number of players prior What's to up? the college tournament being canceled. And it's a bit of an art and science equation anyway when you're evaluating young players. And this just exacerbates it a bit because you don't have that little bit more of information that you'd like to have so in that case you go with what you do have for the best of your ability that's good from George 129 left here in the fourth quarter and this is going to end in a lopsided victory I, I love the tenacity and aggressiveness as well as the ability to close you really got to give it up here for the Clippers looking at both these teams they're great rebounders and on any given night you might not know who would have the advantage on the board. They, they made the most of those extra rebounds as well, Kevin. And it'll mark their fourth win on the year. Actually, their fifth win on the year. And in what should be an exciting four-game season series between these two teams, they have to feel great about taking this first one against the Rockets. And something we've come to almost expect is greatness from this guy. Such an overall great performance it was for George. Tell you what, this guy worked his behind off on both ends of the floor. He was really an intimidating presence out there. Catching up on the changes for Houston. Rodion's Kurooks, he's checked in for P.J. Tucker. Brown comes in for Kevin Porter. And it's Dante Axum in for Oladipo. Now here's Williams. Morris kicks to Williams. Over wall. 
Ice D from Wall. 43 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Brown wide open. He fires. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. And here's Batum. Passes it to Williams. Morris outside. Back to Williams. Just five on the clock. Right side, Batum. And it's off from three-point range. Outside, Wall. So it's Los Angeles winning this one easily. This one was over well before the final buzzer. The fans were waiting for something to get excited about, Greg, but they never got it. They sure didn't. I mean, they just rolled to this win. They made it look really easy. What an efficient performance at both ends. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Hey, Kevin, thank you. Kawhi, I guess it's fair to say defense really set the tone for your team tonight. For sure. That's what we're trying to build up to, being a great defensive team. And uh, we just want to keep our energy um, at the start of the game. Appreciate your time, man. Go enjoy the win. Kevin? David, thank you as always. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. See you later.